Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Samanuk and I'm a hypnotherapist. Today, I would love to talk about the topic that probably you can Google it and find hundreds and hundreds of different explanations. But I wanted to talk to it from a more spiritual, emotional point of view, from the point of view of how our body grows and evolves and uh, develops. It's about ADHD. The diagnosis that um, so many kids and even adults are now being diagnosed, right? The hype, the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And if you Google it, you will find the explanation for that. I'm not going to go to do that and give you that typical medical um, definition. No, I'm going to tell you about ADHD because I've had so many clients who have that and who struggle to, with, with, um, a hypnotherapy session because of the uh, ADHD and um, because of that unfocused, unconcentrated, um, you know, problem. And it's not that it's their fault or they were not born with it. And I'll tell you why. And it's very easy to understand. Once you understand what it is, then you will understand what to do about it. Because you can treat um, ADHD with or help or cope or manage ADHD from a different range of <laughs> points of view and, and uh, treatments, starting from medication and ending up in meditations. Can you imagine how many different methods are in between? So what is ADHD? ADHD is inability or weakened ability to go inwards because we are afraid. We are not ready what will emerge when we go inwards. And it's not because we don't want to go there. We were not, we, we learned not to go there. So this is inability to go inwards and, or it is a heightened attention, a heightened attention on outer world impulses. So the most important inner impulses are ignored. So, there are so, you know, you've seen people with ADHD, right? There are 300 million thoughts in their mind. And of course, of course, there is no attention. There is no ability to go back inwards and to observe or to focus on one activity or be organized in their mind, right? So, it's like a library that was all flipped over in their our mind, right? So, why? And... The most important knowledge about ADHD and for if you have a kid with ADHD or if you were diagnosed or if you predict or you think you might have it, uh, why? Why people have um, are diagnosed with this or do have symptoms of ADHD? It's because as kids, we are copying 100% of our mom until the age of five or six, depending on the maturity, right? Until the age of five or six, you copy your mom's smell. You, you kind of register their smell, their look, their expression, their feelings, their energy, everything. This is why uh, treating and helping um, kids with ADHD is so hard because the main point is not the kid. The main point is the parent. By the way, um, that period of time from not from zero till five age, but from the conception till the age of five or six, we never disregard, by the way, as a hypnotherapist and a lot of people, uh, a lot of spiritual gurus, they never disregard the womb period of time when your mom was pregnant. Um, those nine, nine months are so important. It's our life as well. And there are so many beliefs, there are so many deep-rooted feelings that are coming as well from that a period of time. So that's why I'm telling you that the main, the main, per, the main way to help um, people with symptoms of ADHD, if, they're if they are kids, is to work with the parent because parents don't want to recognize. Um, I've had uh, many clients who brought their kids and kids were diagnosed with ADHD and they just don't realize that the inner work has to be done with parents first. And the kids will, will mirror that. 
not right away no it will take time and for people it may take years and decades only but they will eventually will mirror their parents so the kid will come down when the mom comes down and some people will say well i was i was calm well why my kid has adhd um it, i won't believe that i'm sorry i'm sorry but i won't believe that uh moms are super calm mom who are super calm at peace connected to themselves don't have kids with adhd their kids reflect the same inner world they reflect the same inner work inner world so your kids is a mirror of you and sometimes uh, as parents we hold it in we suppress it hide it from kids but that doesn't mean that kids don't feel it and kids don't have it right so why um how why and where how why and where um this adhd um syndrome di di disorder right starts where in the family only in the family or in the environment that the child is growing up how because um of the lack of attention or hyper attention by the way did you know that hyper attention is also can be a cause of adhd why because when we have hyper attention over our kids we actually disregard what they want we want to satisfy our need to overprotect them right we think that if i give them too enough a lot a lot of attention it means that it's going to be fine they're going to be fine no sometimes hyper attention right when you are actually don't listen to your kids you don't listen you you do what you want and not what they need and it's like two different things right um why that happens it happens because parents have their own programming parents have their own programming so they are repeating or maybe parents have their own problems as well like postpartum depression i had postpartum depression for about eight years and trust me my kid here in canada when we came in everyone would tell me that my kid has adhd all the teachers would like point my attention to she she has adhd she has like she, we predict we think we think she might have you should go and test her i'm so happy i didn't i'm so happy that at some point i realized that she, how, nothing will change if i don't change so when i started to change my daughter in two years became a completely different person with different behaviors was was more understanding of herself right and even ability to go inwards so that's very important it's still a work in progress but it's a work right so it's a progress so what is the cause what is the cause of the root of that child when they they cannot uh when by the way when um kids have a lack of attention they start to connect attention is not an important thing so they will not pay attention as well if the mom cannot be emotionally present then the child will not know how to be emotionally present as well this is this is it right um when a mom cannot go inwards and focus and concentrate the kids will not know how to do that as well no matter how teachers will yeah tell them or point them out or teach them yes they will learn some things some habits and behaviors however everything comes from a family so adhd always comes from a family the child just doesn't know they connect like attention is not important so why would I, the kid thinks, right? That I don't get attention. I am not loved, right? I'm not worthy of love. So why would I pay attention? Why would I be focused? There is no point. It doesn't give any reward. They don't realize, the kids don't realize. They don't think about the future. Our mind doesn't think about the future. Our mind wants to satisfy us right now and right here. It's very anxious. Our mind is very anxious. It wants to satisfy it right here and right now so the the kid's brain is the same they don't realize that oh you know if i'm very all focused and concentrated uh, and i'm in the moment right now then in the future it will pay off they don't know about that even if you tell them that hundreds of times if you don't do it yourself then of course it's not going to happen so what is the the cause the root of um of us developing adhd symptom or if you have kids who have adhd symptoms as well uh so abusive homes first right uh, emotionally unavailable parents 
when emotionally unavailable parents. Another one is uh, when hypertension, when you pay too much attention, or you substitute attention with something else, for example, with material things, right? Stuff. The same, the kids will will know the difference. They will know. They want real attention. Not the, you know, I sometimes look at my my son and he's watching uh, cartoons on um, on YouTube on the screen and I'm like, I am contributing to that future problem for sure. And then I come back and then switch it off and I go and play and find some time with my kid. Uh, separated, so divorce separation. Uh, it's very important to, um, to really navigate the child during separation and divorce. Because if that happens and the child doesn't know, they will get confused. They will get confused, the confusion. The child very often has confusion about uh, what is going on in the family and confusion creates frustration and frustration takes away focus and concentration and memory so you have all the symptoms of ADHD right so uh, that's the thing another one is uh, when the parents are very controlling authoritative right holding on to the control very manipulative parents as well um, it's just the parenting style there is no wrong or right it's just the way it is. If the parents have authoritative, controlling tendencies in, parents, in parenting, it means that they are carrying it from somewhere else as well. It's not to blame them, it's to understand them and for them to understand that as well, that they can change. By the way, very often uh, we carry that belief that it's going to be like that forever. It, that I have no choice. There is no other choice. I so often hear that from adults. There is no other choice. What do I do? Is there any other choice? Always, <laughs> always, in, even in the most desperate, hopeless situation, if we are adults, we have a choice. But as kids, we don't. So we start to, we hold that belief that we don't have a choice. So sometimes we go and find those quick fixes that uh, they do help with symptoms, but never resolve the issue as well. Right, so high expectation from the kid. When your kid is three, and you ex expect them to understand very, you know, um, complex, complex um, things in the world, right? When you start to explain a three-year-old child about um, responsibility for their actions, uh, thinking about the future, um, you have to do this and this and this, high expectations from the child that is not ready for those responsibilities. When you put on child the responsibilities of being an adult, um, they will develop this anxious because they they miss the childhood. They miss the child and then they cannot cope with with serious issues. So um, treat your child and treat yourself as well, right? With understanding that at this point of life, I am like right now. I can what what you can do now. So children can the cause can be is when children are not mature enough to understand the issues, the problems, and the struggles that are happening in their life. They become anxious and anxiety can be unfocused. And the more it intensifies, it can lead to ADHD problems. By the way, people with ADHD, uh, come to, they come to me and they sometimes cannot close their eyes. It doesn't, mean that they cannot, doesn't, doesn't mean that they cannot be hypnotized. They can be hypnotized. They just have to do that with open eyes. I ask them, you can keep your eyes open and just look into one uh, spot. And they relax so well. They start to trust you, right? Because uh, very often they, or sometimes uh, people with ADHD, they think that meditation is I have to switch off my brain. You cannot switch off your brain ever again. Or I always think, I, have over, I overthink, I have so many thoughts. Don't push the thoughts away. If you meditate, don't ever push away. What happens when uh, parents, they notice? Or for example, if we have ADHD symptoms, and we're diagnosed with ADHD, um, our partner notices that. They might want to help, or you as the parent want to help your child as well. And you go and connect, you try that connection. However, because of hyperactivity, the child doesn't allow, doesn't let you in. Because they don't, they don't know. They, they don't know how to do that. They're not capable of it. So in the end, the child gets very upset, anxious and worried, and the parents get frustrated. So they drop off that attempt to connect. 
So this is very important to understand, right? So sometimes parents and or our partners, they, they try to approach us to connect. They do, but we don't let them in because we just don't know how to do that. I'm talking from my point of view as, as if I have ADHD and I also do have symptoms of that. Like my, my, my table is always messy, you know, and I, um, sometimes I have racing thoughts, right? I just learned how to come back. Oh, this is my mind. I, I talk to my mind all the time. I talk, talk to my ego. I talk to my habits. I talk to my behaviors. I talk to my emotions. And probably if people see me on the street, they will think that I'm, I don't know, <laughs> I have some psychotic disorder, but I don't. I just learn how to communicate with myself. And by the way, people with ADHD, the best way is to learn how to communicate with yourself. The best uh, tricks, tips, and there are not many, there are not many how to help a child or how to help yourself. If you have a child with ADHD, the best way is to work with parent. If you have a child, work with yourself. If you have ADHD um, diagnosis or symptoms, um, then or you assume you have it because you have some, you notice some symptoms, then do the inner work, meditation. Even if your mind comes with three million thoughts, meditation, this will help a lot. Reframing limiting beliefs. This is so important, right? Reconnect into themselves. So because it's ADHD, it's an ability to go inwards and to focus, right? The same happens. If you learn, it's a skill. You can learn it. Will it be a little bit, will it take more time? It depends on what you want and how you want it. Some people with People like, oh, ADHD is, uh, you cannot, you cannot heal it completely. Maybe you don't want to heal it completely. We never know how people can say what is going to happen if no one knows what's going to happen. So no one has a right to tell you what is going to happen, what is possible, what is not. Mm -mm. No one has a right to tell because no one knows. And if people knew, then it would be boring. <laughs> so it, it, they don't know. No one knows. So please, please have hope that you can absolutely reconnect to yourself. You can find that inner peace within yourself. You can focus, you can find concentration. You can get your memory back. You can slow down your thought process. You can organize the different files in your brain. It's possible, it's possible for your child. And for the child, you know, when you help them by working on yourself, it's like a win-win the best approach. So I wish you all the best. Please don't get this uh, discouraged when you have that diagnosis. Don't get discouraged if your kid was diagnosed with that. It's only diagnosis. It doesn't mean that it's like an imprint on you. That's not true. So be healthy emotionally and physically. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.